right, guys, we are back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to episode, fuck, this will be 355 of the Ready, Set, Blow podcast. First off, thanks for the new subscribers on YouTube. Uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, all that bullshit. We are back with my guy, Jeff Zenesek, Big Jeff Z. What's up? What's up, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Good, man. I like, uh, always love having you on. We get good clips because we say a lot of dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll send me a clip and I'll be like, fuck, I said that? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I they really, they really enjoyed the Butt Slammers Nine reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, on Hollywood Video, it's a classic title. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Mar Marty Scorsese's best work. Yeah, I think personally, yeah. you know, fuck Goodfellas, Butt Slammers Nine by Marty Scorsese. Yeah, dude. <coughs> yeah, that's one guy you don't want to be. You don't want to be the uh, the connoisseur of porns. Dude, know? I had a buddy whose little brother was. I mean, I guess now it's on the spectrum, but there was something definitely wrong about him, like something off, not wrong, but just off. He. uh he had one giant tower, mm -hmm. it must have been like 10 terabytes, where he like stored and cataloged and would also like serve on like different sites, porn videos. Nice. And he had them like categorized by, I mean, not only the actress, he had them like, you know, by all the oh, categories. Yeah, alphabetized? Anal, alphabetized by the porn okay. star, but like also that. like- they had like As a, a person that used to work at Hollywood Video, I support the <laughs> alphabetiz alphabetization or whatever that word is. But he also, dude, he also had- like a matrix in there where like if you were into like butt stuff or brunettes or feet like wait like, he set up like a dewey decibel yeah, system yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> a porn dewey decimal yeah. system yeah. exactly wow man. exactly and on top of that he would go online and buy women's lingerie that he saw these porn stars wearing mm -hmm. uh okay and, now it's weird yeah that's yeah. that's where it gets yeah, he owned three cats and he would never let them out of his room it was i don't know what was going on back then yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I fear for the cat's sexual health. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. That's the weird part when he, the, the buying the underwear thing. Yeah. I, I had no problem with the organization. I'm a big fan of, of that. Like having a label maker to <laughs> like set up your porn stuff. That's great. I wonder what happened to all the porn DVDs. They physically must be somewhere. There's a guy that still has. Them. <laughs> that's what, that's what it is. There's a guy that's like, I'm not switching. You yeah, know, because <laughs> in our lifetime, he's just like he's stuck on like eight tracks. He's like, yeah. You know, well, in our lifetime, we had a guy we had tapes. Yeah. Right. And then there was like the transitions where like people were like, it's actually CDs now. And then there were like tapes guys that were like, fuck that. I'm tapes guy. <laughs> I'm tapes forever. I'm not changing this. And, then, and, you know, people were like, yeah, but check this out. You skip to the next song and it's like exactly there. Yeah. And this guy's like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> like rewinding it and shit. Like if you don't like if you're listening to a tape and you don't like the first song on either side of the tape, fuck that. Yeah, that whole album is it ruined. Garbage. Like if you're the third song on the album, no one's listening. No one to cares. It. No one yeah. cares, dude. I wonder if you could you, if you could have gotten all those old porn DVDs like you can old movies like mm -hmm. at Walmart in those big bins. You know they sell them for like a buck or ninety nine cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like where's the big porn bucket of old DVDs? Can you get like two hundred for you know, forty bucks? Yeah, there's some. They're, they they got to be somewhere, you know, because it's like those, uh, you know, those like truck stop adult stores. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they th those probably. Oh, have. that's where it all ended up. Yeah, because you know, if you go to those, you know, those big ass truck stops. Yeah, you on go the to like road, Bucky's or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but not even a Bucky's because Bucky's is like new and like corporate. Okay, you know what I mean? Oh, like, just like those fuck. No, like, I mean like a big old. Yeah, like you're, you're driving through like Quartzsite, Arizona, and they just have yeah. one of those random truck stops. Like you couldn't, yeah. yeah. And they have like showers in there, and like like trucker guys just hang out for some reason. Like you ever see that? I mean, I assume it's to procure sex and drugs. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. But man, a what lot. do you think goes on in those truck stop shower? Who would shower in a truck? I'd rather They're, they have like movie rooms. You know what I mean? Have you been in one of these places? I mean, yeah, I used to drive all over the country doing stand up. So like But you would like go in the shower. I was a, I was a ice road trucker <laughs> <laughs> with my dick jokes. Did you but did you like use the showers in these truck stops? No. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> that, that would be insane. Yeah, you're you're cruising for some dick. If you I'd rather that. well it's like I'm gonna stay in a hotel. Yeah. Like I don't I guess those guys have like those sleepers in their in the back. truck. Yeah. Which I don't know. Fuck I, that, dude. I feel like I feel like you're better off just get buying a gallon of water and washing yourself in the woods. I, I would not shower Probably. in one of those truck stop yeah. showers. No. You know, it's fucking filthy. Yeah, the truck stop bathroom shower situation. Terrible. <laughs> some of those are nice though. You know, they're better than like some airport bathrooms. Yeah. I will I won't front. I have taken a shower at like one of those COA camping sites. Okay. 
Because I drove, drove, I drove, I did like a whole backpacking trip across the country. And some nights, you know, most nights we'd camp in the woods and it'd be like a lake or a river we can like wash yeah. off in. And I had shampoo and stuff in the car. But some nights he couldn't get, we couldn't get to the campsite in time. And every now and then you got to shower in a, in a public shower. And it's pretty fucking gross. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. It's pretty gross. You know what's crazy about camping is they try to make you pay for it. That is the, that I agree with you. I they're mean, like, like I, I they're get, like, hey, you stayed outside. You owe us money. It's like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? <laughs> well, I, I, I am a Native American. <laughs> Technically, you are. You were born a, here. Yes, yeah. I am of the earth. <laughs> and this is ours. You are to Native share, American. You are so native to this land. Off. I'm driving away in my minivan. <laughs> but yeah. they'll fucking charge you, man. They'll charge you like 30 bucks for a campsite. It's like, Man, for fifty, I can get a room at the La Quinta Inn. What Dude, the, like they, with a, I know. indoor plumbing? <laughs> it's like twenty the more fuck bucks. You, yeah, like what the fuck? Yeah. Like we yeah. yeah, yeah, knock that down to about five dollars. All you, like trash removal fee, you know, yeah. three ninety nine. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's about that's what you, a camp site. So a you should pay cost. me to stay in your grass area that you have here that you <laughs> tried to make some sort of business. What a racket, dude. I mean, I, look, I get it at the national parks. They need to pay park rangers and shit like that. But the fucking price is Even great. that. Like, what, what I'm saying is they don't have, have any plumbing. They the don't park have rangers because what's he going to do? Wear a cowboy hat and tell me there's a bear? <laughs> Fuck that. I know there's a bear. We're outside, dickhead. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not paying you, you fucking loser. That's the kind of job. Why are you, you dress like the Mountie? Yeah, from right. fucking <laughs> you dress WWE. like Smokey the Bear. Fucking take that stupid hat yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. Plus, if yeah, if Smokey the Bear, he'll tell me that the, he'll be like, hey, he'll there's going to be a fire. <laughs> but there's a bear, yeah. which is worse than a fire. Yeah. Right? If a fire, I smell it. It's you happening. Can see it, yeah. yeah. A bear just shows up wearing the hat. <laughs> talking about forest fires i'm getting the fuck out of there you're talking about forest fires dude like that's that job being a park ranger i feel like that's like the best job if you're like trying to run away from like an ex-wife you know oh, yeah. too because i mean they're just living out in the woods all yeah. year long yeah you, you can't know? you if you have that job you hate women <laughs> you have a like your wife was a bitch <laughs> every single park ranger is a divorce they running no, from an alimony for check. sure no family yeah Guys outside just uh, I hate my wife. you got what does he even do? That's what I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he just says you can't go here. Yeah, he just right? tells people not to do things. Yeah. That's kind of it. And I, I don't know Which, what kind of power sucks. They, like can they arrest you? Like I don't even know if they have like arresting no, capabilities. They, they don't they don't have a gun. Yeah. Right? I mean, look, that's one thing. Any it, any official that doesn't have a gun, I give no respect yeah, to. Yeah, if you're an authority figure and you don't have a gun, get the fuck yeah, out of yeah, here. Yeah. You're, you're not an authority mean? figure. Um, you actually can't be here. I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do about it, you <laughs> fucking pussy? <laughs> yeah, what dude. are you gonna do? Not shoot me? I don't <laughs> give a fuck. You put your little bear spray, I'll punch yeah. in the face. <laughs> yeah. If I'm within like what, fifteen feet? Like I'm toast with the bear spray, but yeah. if I'm outside of that, they could also write you tickets. But like, who the? How are they ever going to collect on that? Do I have to go to forest court? That's what I'm saying. Like, how would they? It, yeah. How would they enforce that? What, how, what would is they, how would they fucking find you? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> cocaine <laughs> bear is on the is on the jury for that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Cocaine bear and Smokey the bear. A on, jury on, on the judges. of seventeen deer have <laughs> found you guilty of guilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a bastard, dude. No way. No, You're not, not about that life? No, nah, dude. No, I'm, You're an indoor guy. We talked about that mm, last time. Yeah, I'm an indoor guy. Uh, Which is crazy because you got the hair and the beard. You know, I would think you have a very outdoorsy look. Yeah, that's my... Uh, You're fronting. It's yeah. my facade that I put <laughs> it's, on. It's for the bullshit you put out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to dress like an inside guy. What's an inside guy dressed like? That's what I'm saying. Oh, is You don't want to dress like that. That's like an incel. <laughs> I don't want to dress permanently like, indoors. Just only yeah. wear sweats. Yeah, <laughs> only sweats. Um, like hunched over back because I'm constantly on my computer typing. Yeah, I mean I am already. Yeah, but, 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 but you're not. I'm but you're not. not but to, you're not commenting on YouTube videos and and porn videos. Yes, those guys. Whoever has the time to comment on a on a porn video. Yeah. I mean, you know, every single person who comments on a porn video should be put on a watch list immediately. Yeah. What? What? What commentary do you have to add to this? You know, yeah. like, oh, uh, you know, I, I wish he would have, you know, jiggled his balls a little more. Like, what yeah. the fuck? What are you, a fucking critic over here? Like a porn critic? <laughs> if you're a commenter, that is fucking really weird. Like, comment, and subscribe on the video, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. All commenters are dicks unless you comment on my podcast. Yeah. Then we love you. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely weird to comment on porn, yeah. right? Because, not because the comment is weird, it is. 
But what's really weird is setting up an account. Yes. <laughs> and then Yes, because you can get then, all this for free. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, look, you just stopping watch masturbating the video. to comment. It's yeah. like don't you think you know, yeah. don't don't you have more pressing needs? Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you're on a porn website. I, I do like the guy that answers the question in the comments, like who is who is this chick? That, oh. that that guy, like, let's give it yeah, up for that round guy. Round applause for that round guy. Round applause for that guy. You know this who that king? guy is? It's probably the guy I know who was cataloging that's porn the, in his basement. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, guy. that's the autistic porn guy, <laughs> for sure. That's who that is. We love that guy, and he rules, yeah. but... Those guys come in the clutch on, like, uh, on social media, on Instagram and TikTok. Mm -hmm. When you see a hot chick and you don't know who it, it actually is. Yeah. Somebody, who is that? Somebody, you know, somebody oh, he jumps knows. right in. Yeah, he knows exactly where, Yeah, they, just, like, they give you her website. Yeah, yeah. He, he does that, you know, the link tree in people's bios? Yeah. Like, he just sends you one that he made <laughs> for that girl. <laughs> he, he made it for her? Yeah. I've seen that, dude. There, there are people out there who make fan pages for their favorite OnlyFans girls. Nice. It's like... I, I, she has her own page. I don't think if people are into her, they could just follow her page. Why would they follow yeah. the fan page? Are you are you talking about the guy? Are you a fan page guy, Jeff? No, no, I'm the actual person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about the guy that makes like the fake account? No, no, th those are bots. I, those are those are people trying to scam. I've seen yeah. like you know, is that a, that's got to be a person though, right? Uh, well, it, it could be a bot, could be a person. A lot of people do impersonate people just to get some sort of social interaction, which is mm -hmm. weird, right? Like if you're a dude and you're, and you're lonely, why would you create a woman's fan page? Unless, mm -hmm. you know, like it's, it's really funny. Like must be really lonely. Yeah. yeah. If you're doing that. Yeah. It'd be smart if you were a gay lonely guy. Cause then you, if you start like a hot chicks fan page, mm -hmm. cause then you can get guys to send you dick pics. Oh, uh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. if you're straight uh -huh. and you're doing that, that, that is a level of loneliness. I hope to never understand. Yeah. I mean, you could be doing it for the business acumen of it. <laughs> Which I support that. The business because we are can, entrepreneurs yeah, over here. To sort of fake OnlyFans account. Yeah, that's I'm, good. I wonder how many fake OnlyFans accounts there are. Like, I bet those women don't even exist now because AI can generate, you know, people's images and stuff like that. I wonder how Wait, many. Can you tell like Chat GPT to like generate like a hot? Yeah, dude, they made a fucking no, drink a and weekend. nude though. Yeah, dude. Well, nude. I don't know about a nude. I don't know about a nude, but you can you can, you can you, crop like, their head over. You could deep fake. Yeah, nude. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly, dude. We should do that as an experiment for the pod. What? Make a deep fake porn <laughs> person. Yeah. And just try and get followers in the podcast? Yeah, just make like. I'm gonna, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a video editor. I'm going to deep fake you into a hot chick, and you'll be my new partner. Wait, wait why am I a hot chick? This well, you got the blonde hair, you know? All right. <laughs> all, right. all I got to do is change your face and get rid of the beard. I do have Although a beard. Although it's 2023, you could keep the beard. I am keeping it, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. make you any less of a woman with I mean, a beard. we are not drinking Bud Lights, but, you know. <laughs> Thank we God for that. <laughs> There's Run one thing, the man. Everyone went crazy over the Bud Light thing. I, 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 know, I just don't for the life of me understand why people look to corporations for any sort of morality or, or standing. Like, <clears throat> of course Budweiser's going to try and sell to trans people. They're men too. No, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, no it, I'm kidding. But like, no, like they don't, they'll sell to fucking anyone. Dude, they would sponsor terrorism if it they, sold more Bud Light. Yeah, they are. It was a weird move though <laughs> oh, to yeah. do that. Because it's it like, okay... They know who their fan base is. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're so just, why did they yeah. do that? They're like trading out a third of their fan base for one percent of their fan base. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was bad. Calculus. And are trans people like ripping beers at fucking tailgates? Well, no, like, I'm what just is saying, happening? Even with, beyond that, like trans people only like represent less than one percent of the population. So, like, I would think they're drinking like, you know, like those fancy cocktails with the little rainbow. Or well, it the depends, dude. Because if it's trans man or trans woman, it. right? Because a trans woman you know, was birthed a man mm -hmm. and men like beer. Yeah. Right? I would imagine the trans men drink less beer than the trans Wait, women. So trans men are women that Turn became men. men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would think the trans women they're, they're would drink more beer than the they trans were, men. No, but they'd be mad because Bud Lights were for the boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right? Bud Lights are for the trans now. Yeah. So <laughs> th wouldn't the trans women be like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. It's, that it's, would be it's, it gets very confusing when you get into that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, it is. Because it's you know? like a very you never like, know what side they want to be on there. situation, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I also wonder how, like, how often trans people admit that they had started out as a different gender. You know, like, like if they, they, they you know, back it? when I was a man, this is what I used to do. But now that I'm a woman, I do, like if they, like, like in casual conversation, if they bring it up, uh, it's a very curious. I would think they would. Because, I mean, 
it's hard to just talk about things in the last like couple of months. Yeah. Or however, well, that's a, recently, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah exactly. You have like no life, and it's not like a like. It's not like a I was this now I'm this because like there it's is a, a transition. transition. Yeah, it's like it's like a butterfly, right? You're like you got a cocoon up. Yeah, right. How crazy would that be if you like disappeared for two days and came back just completely? Then you know, yeah, and like there was no like there was no yeah. inkling of it. All of a sudden, it's like hey, this is it. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I guess you could do that. Yeah, but you'd have to like you'd have to live where you live, disappear, and then come trans back. yourself in another yeah, area, and then come back, come back. Yeah. Kind of like the, the, try to the arc of Luke eyes. Skywalker. And <laughs> instead of going to Dagobah to train, he just transed. He just trans. <laughs> yeah, Yoda, I mean, it, like teaches it really him how must to trans. be tough for him. I, got, I, I do have sympathy for him because like, how do you, like if you transition at 25, which, you know, is I think a more normal age. I don't, it gets, gets a little hairy when you're doing it to, you know, underage kids. But if you transition at 25, it's almost like everything you did before your transition didn't exist. Like you, you were born at 25. Like your history yeah. started at 25. How do you, like, you know. Do you get a new birth certificate and they're like, damn, I got to wait 21 <laughs> years before I can drink. <laughs> You're going to be 46 before damn you have to drink. Gotta, God, yeah. damn it. Fuck. Start over they here. They have a fake ID about just their, <laughs> but it's their actual yeah, how ID. Do you, how do you deal with that, dude? Like we fly every, Yeah, I don't get that. We fly all the time as comedians. I can't, you transition, but you have your old ID. Like that's not you. Yeah, you know, I'm like, sorry, sir. You can't, can't allow you win. You're not 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing I don't understand. It's like, what? Well, okay, I can, you can transition, be a different whole person, and have all that work out. I can't put Jeff on my ticket when I fly. Yeah. If I put Jeff on my ticket and not Jeffrey, they're like they'll lose their shit. Yeah. And if you show up a completely different gender, they act like I'm not name, me. Like, Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, hey, this is me. Here's my ID. And they're like, Pff. Jeff it says Jeff on the ticket. I'm like, yeah, I'm Jeff. Yeah, you got to go back to the counter and get that refixed. It's like, oh, fuck off. God, with this. dude. <laughs> it must be a real pain in the ass. My mom was talking about how she changed her name uh, after her last marriage. And she's like, I'm never doing it again. Because just changing your last name is a burden <clears throat> beyond belief. Changing your gender. And then you got to change all your IDs. You got to get new credit cards. What the fuck? Dude, I hate when I lose Getting one Getting a card. new ID makes you want to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's like, I might as well trans. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm here already, so just let's do the whole thing. Yeah, start over. Yeah, yeah you sure you want to deal with the DMV shit? Come on. Yeah, yeah explaining that to <laughs> yeah. some fucking hourly state oh, worker. I drove, that by, no, I drove by, it's a three-hour wait, and it's a Wednesday. Yeah, just getting a new license has stopped so much transitioning. <laughs> like, yeah. just the, the idea. The, the DMV alone is stopping transition surgeries oh, <laughs> because huge. no one wants to get a new ID. No one wants to do that. <laughs> What a disaster. It's a commitment. Yeah, it is. that's what doctors say. They're like, look, we're going to do the transition. It's going to be like a billion dollars to do it. But you are going to have to get a new ID. And they're like, Fuck I don't think I want to do this. Yeah, it's, I'm also like on a personal level, I'm such a non-committal guy. <clears throat> like, I, you know, it's, it's tough for me to make a decision of like what I want on a menu at a restaurant. Yeah, you'd quit you know, halfway. I, I, I don't get any tattoos. So I don't know if I'd like it in 10 years. Yeah. To change your gender. You know tattoos? Like, What's that? You're no, no tattoos. tattoos. Yeah, same. None at all. Nice, dude. Oh, nice. We're clean. We're very, clean. Very boys. rare. Yeah. All the yeah. marks on my body I've earned all through clean. bad mistakes, yeah. you know, scars and what have you. But like, I, I don't, like I said, I, I can't imagine a tattoo that I would want forever. Like, that'd be cool for a while, but then, you know, you change your mind. So, like, to have the certainty that you are the opposite gender is a level of certainty that I want to have about anything in my life. You know, like, I'm, I don't have that much conviction about any of my opinions. Let, you know, let, like to change to, to change my whole sexual assignment. That's yeah. a big commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty impressed with them. I'm actually jealous. Like I said, I want that level of commitment in my life somewhere. Yeah, those are like the only things I am that committed on. <laughs> Your is birth that gender. I'm a guy, <laughs> and I am not gay. Those are my two things that I'm very committed on. Yeah, everything you know? else. I'm so straight, and I'm definitely a dude. And I'll prove it, ladies. Not on, not Come on YouTube. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> meet me at a truck stop. Yeah, yeah meet, 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 meet me at a truck, truck stop in the shower. Yeah, meet me at a truck know? stop bathroom, lady. Shower number 69. That'll be me through the glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> how come there's no glory holes for women? Well, how do you put... Is it like a whole... I mean, Elon like you Musk is a great entire, engineer. He should figure out a way. Wait, wait, okay, look. We do need equality. Women do need glory holes. So in yes. public bathrooms, here's what we have to do. We have to cut a giant hole that will fit your entire under torso area into yeah, you know like, what I mean you yeah, have to put your legs like a little, and like a little seat so your ass and vagina can hang out the yeah, back yeah, yeah. yeah. like a, maybe a hammock situation mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That, that could work. Yeah, there's got to be a sex swing above, <laughs> right? And then a big hole. <laughs> or, okay, maybe it doesn't have to, you don't have to put your legs through. Because then you got to hold your legs. Yeah, up. well, you just sit no your good. back end in. So, no, so you have to you, eat it from no, the it's back. Like, Maybe a little bit of Velcro to let, you know make sure your ass is is connected to the stall. Yeah, it needs to be. Actually, I'm thinking about it. it needs to be about this big, depending on the size of the person's ass. Maybe we can make like little sliders to yeah, make it. Yeah, there like, you go. You know, right? Yeah. So then you can kind of sex swing in, and then press your ass and you know lady bits yeah, through the your hole, vaginal area to the hole there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it has to be, like, like I said, it has to be eaten from the back. Cause that's the only way you can get. From the back? Yeah, because you, like, like, like it's essentially like you're eating no, it from if the back. If they're laying stomach up in the sex swing, oh. they can swing in. Oh, right? so you put their whole lower half back there. Yeah, you gotta have, you know, like uh, the guys that like run like a zip line? Yeah, you need I got gotcha. one of those guys gotcha. to help gotcha. you get in the, I did that the in Vegas leg once. work stirrup situation. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and then and they go, all right, three, two, and then they swing your ass into yeah, the, the hole and then you kind of stick into it because there's a little bit of yeah. momentum. And that also helps out if you're at the feet on the other side of the hole, right? Because you, you get a little extra there because the feet yeah. come through. Mm -hmm. I see yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can secure your feet in yeah. at the top of the stalls. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that'd be pretty cool. Female yeah. glory holes. I never thought about that. Yeah, dude. See, we, yeah, we're we got, we're doing equality here. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. We're doing. Listen, you know, I I believe in equality amongst the sexes. <laughs> yeah, you know, except when it comes to pay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's not true. Women yeah, get paid more than men these days. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, I can't. They're kicking our ass, dude. I mean, they they got us in college. They they got us. Well, it's like you can be an engineer and have an OnlyFans. Yeah, they yeah, exactly. Yeah. Their side hustle takes zero time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. And then it's like, just do the OnlyFans. It's so much easier. Yeah, I, I would agree. God, ripping it up on the OnlyFans. But you know what does suck? What's that? Being a girl that does OnlyFans that's making like 20 bucks a month. Oh, there's a lot of them that out there, dude. That sucks. Just, there's as many profitable OnlyFans. That can, like, <clears throat> I feel like OnlyFans is kind of like podcasting. There's like, you know. The top 1% get all the revenue, and then there's just a lot of them out there that are just noise making, you know, you know yeah. like you said, $25 a week on, on their OnlyFans. Yeah, that's got to be tough. It's got to be humiliating. You know, because yeah, like, if no one listens to this, we just had a conversation. Who gives a fuck? But mm -hmm. th those women who have like a small OnlyFans following are, you know, showing the whole package. That is tough. And, then, and they're getting $25 for it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It's and like they, it's like headlining and, you, and they only pay you in chicken wings. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Bullshit? yeah. They also do that thing too where they're like, I'm, uh, what, what do they say? Like, they'll be on like a dating profile and they'll be like, I, I don't need a guy. Like, I'm independent. Fuck you. I'm not sleeping with you on the first day. We have to have like some cordial relationship thing. Then it's like, yeah, but I can also pay $5 <laughs> just to, to look see at you, you naked. Yeah. Getting railed by some stranger. Yeah, they're like, don't treat me like some whore or whatever. And it's like... So I treat myself like a whore plenty. Like I could see your <laughs> pussy for $5. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was offering to take you on a date. It's going to cost me like $75. Is, or I could pay $5 Yeah, that is funny. Once. It, OnlyFans has made it cheaper to see naked ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, back in the day, you had to go to a strip joint. You're it right, costs you more to get a latte. That's that's what I'm saying, dude. Like like, it's, like you, back in the day, you can you can go to a, you'd have to go to a strip court. You pay a cover. You have to you know mm -hmm. pay for dances, all that. Uh, you know, if porn, you have to buy the DVDs. You know, and if you or you had to buy a prostitute. No prostitute's gonna you know mm -hmm. give you the goods for five bucks. But yeah. now, thanks to OnlyFans, we can see almost every woman on earth naked for five dollars. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty good. Good time, yeah. <laughs> Good time to be alive. Hell yeah. All right, now that we pissed off OnlyFans models and trans people, <laughs> yeah. which is my core demographic, obviously, Yeah. Uh, let's get into some questions from the listeners here. We had some fun ones. All right. All right, first up, uh, what is one thing you refuse to do during sex? Uh, one thing I refuse to do? During sex. Um, well, fuck a guy. <laughs> That's, well, like I'm, assuming earlier, it's a, I'm assuming like it's with a woman. Earlier, Jeff. Or get fucked by a guy. Yeah. <laughs> These are my two no's, okay? <laughs> Devil's three-way? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe, but not my first three-way, okay? Because okay? <laughs> what, if, what if that's my last three-way? Yeah, you don't want to go out no like good. that. That's no good. No. Because then everybody's telling their fun sex stories, and they're like, hey, did you ever have a threesome? I'll be like, yeah, once. 
<laughs> and they'll be like, Wait. not the way you think, though. Yeah, yeah not the fun like, kind. Were, were yeah. they hot? And I'm like, uh, yeah. well, it's she a, was, but Kevin was not. <laughs> Kevin was kind of in the way the whole yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin was. We're buds, but we didn't really yeah. talk anymore. After he helped that. me last longer because I, you know, if I was getting too close, I just look at him, and that was, you know, yeah, <laughs> boner went away. But that's <laughs> another problem with the devil's three way. What's that? You you bust with the dude. That's no good. Well, You're like, oh damn. Yeah. Well, that, I always wore, I wonder, like, you can get a little on you, you know, because things, yeah. things go all over the place. Yeah, you, you can't have that. You can't, you can't yeah, have dude. it. Also, no, we, we have to be facing what, the same direction, yeah. right? <sighs> like, as if we're watching a Gallagher. Not, that's not true, dude. If, if you're doing the, the old you know, DP. You got- I'm also wearing a poncho like I'm going to see Gallagher, by the way. <laughs> I will be wearing a poncho. <laughs> A lot of watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely shoot. bringing watermelon. Yeah. What if you accidentally, like, as you're, you know, about to orgasm, you look up and look right in Kevin's eyes? That's no good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, he might get the wrong idea. These are all reasons why I don't do that. Yeah, exactly. I'm t- I also, you know what? Just another thing. I'm too much of a good host. I'll be like, do, do you guys need anything? Do you guys need some? Oh, you'd be too polite. Can I get you guys some beers? Yeah. Or does anybody want a foot rub? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm not doing that, but no, maybe I'll maybe so, I'll get some drinks for the crew. You know? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I would do that. For me, uh, what what would I not do sexually? I mean, yeah, I am straight and heterosexual, but I would say, <laughs> uh, like the word I don't. I never say I love you during sex, even if I love the woman. Yeah. Okay. Because that's not hot. Okay. You know, like I, I I'm a big believer in that when you have sex. I've never made love in my life, right? You, you. That's you, all I do, dude. Really? No, yeah, oh, no. I'm a passionate. I, I've had I've had sex with women I love. If I, yeah. but I've never made love to a woman. You if, know, if, I have, I, I fuck them. You know, dude. Like, if I do the glory hole, I'm gonna cuddle you through the glory hole. Wow, dude. that's yeah. aggressive. You just yeah. put two little hands in there, like yeah. little fingers, and yeah, try and... exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put my whole body through the glory hole and cuddle with you. It's like a reverse glory hole. It's, 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 your body, you just hug them from the, the two holes up top. You put yeah. your arms through. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, turning it into an experience for the yeah. ladies, that must be a Jeff thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. I do that too. It's a whole experience. <laughs> I bet. All right. Oh, Next God. question. What do you regret the most in your life so far? Um, I mean, this podcast. Yeah, I'm about to say something. This, this, this might be. <laughs> These might be a rough one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live to regret every episode I yeah. take of this fucking thing. I, yeah, something's eventually going to happen. We're going to they're going to be like Jeff said this, and it's just going to be like a super cut of every podcast I've ever done. I'm like, fuck, that was not great. And I can't even apologize. I'll be like, I did say all of that. Yeah, I, I did cop to every one of those yeah. things. I don't know what what have I regretted. I mean, look. I feel like life is full of regrets. And if you don't have regrets in life, you're not living aggressively enough. Like you're not trying yeah. things in life. But you got to be a no regrets guy also. What? What do you mean a no regrets guy? No, I, re- I have regrets. I wish no, I did. You know, you I, have dude, regrets, get- but you got to be like, yeah, whatever. That's oh, you, you can't dwell on it. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah you yeah. can't dwell on it. Yeah, I wish I'd done it differently, but you can't let it, you can't obsess over it for yeah, sure. Yeah, you got to be like that. I did that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Probably, I, honestly, unless someone's like, "Did you do that?" and you're like, "I didn't do that." Here's one. I regret I started doing comedy because if I didn't, I'd be fucking rich. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah, look, comedy. Look, I it, love this, but if I hadn't done this, yeah, my, oh, my life sure. would have been vastly different. Yeah, one hundred percent. I would be definitely rich, successful, married. Really? What would you have oh, done if you didn't do comedy? Anything else? Like what? <laughs> Only fans. What, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> anything else would have been a better idea. Yeah. What? Like, if if comedy wasn't an option for you, like, what what was your other idea coming? You know coming out of high school or college or whatever. Like, like what were you like? Ah, oh, maybe I'll get into this. Bro, anything, dude. Really? Like, when you're an artist, like, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, I'll make my art work out. That's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Yeah, but what... what like, I could have been an engineer. I, I don't know if you have the uh, yeah, I mean, aptitude I'm, for that, Jeff. Yeah, not, I am, not to, not to I am retarded, but... <laughs> No, yeah, not to, not to name names here, but I, I don't think you're a fucking mathematician, so you can't. Yeah, but that's because I'm an artist. Yeah. I would have read books. Oh, if you, you know if what I mean? You, if you, this yeah, I'd be, I would have read all kinds of yeah. shit. I think if you weren't doing comedy, you'd still be working at a Hollywood video. Yeah. You'd be working at the last Hollywood video in Jacksonville, I'd Florida. I'd be in a different time <laughs> <laughs> where they still exist. In like, I am staying in this timeline. <laughs> yeah. Uh Oh, here's a good one. This one has to be my favorite. What's the most imaginative insult you could come up with, but be subtle? Like, well, how what? can you be imaginative and subtle? Insults are supposed to be. Well, just saying be, fuck you is not. Insults are 
are blunt. It's yeah, a but blunt saying, force. But saying fuck you is not, is sure. not inventive. See, the, the thing is you got to do combos. Okay. You got to do combos and you got to do, uh, you got to think like a, a foreign guy. A foreign guy. Yeah, yeah. Because a foreign guy does not have a grasp of the English language enough to make the combo make sense, which makes it sting harder. Okay. Right? All it's right. more like a like the person's like, wait, what? They're confused. What did Le- you leave them a little confused? Yeah, if they're confused, then you really hit them hard with yeah. something. Because then they, a, they're thinking about it. Yeah, I got a good one, dude. I, 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 <laughs> I you know, sadly admit to still doing this. But, uh, you know, if I'm in an argument with a woman, instead of calling her a bitch or, you know, the C word, calling her a cunt, I prefer three-letter words. Three Call letter. a girl a rat. Get out of here, you rat. Rat. Rat nice. or pig. But it's how you say it. Mm-hmm. Get out of here, little pig. Yeah, yeah. You're such a little rat. Every, Get out of here. You, know, you, 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 you have a way of saying everything that it like <laughs> stings pretty hard. It comes in, bam. <laughs> Maybe that that's my that's it's my a, talent. It's very like northeastern, yeah, yeah. like kind of, bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Like, but it but it does it does accomplish what you were talking about earlier. It uh, it's insulting but also dismissive. Yeah. Like, ah, you rat. You kind of brush them off. Mm-hmm. You know, you just give them the fucking. The, yeah. And you actually make the fucking hands. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh, dude. Give a rat. Shoe in a, a lady yeah. is great. <laughs> Excuse me, if you could just. When's the last time you dropped a C bomb on a chick? Oh, like to her face, not talking about her. Hmm. I don't think I ever do it to their face. Really? No. Oh, man. I've done it dozens of times. Really? Of course. Yeah. It's a great word. It, it it really stops them in their tracks. I mean, I definitely <laughs> I definitely use it at the airport a lot. <laughs> That's a great place to do that. Get yourself yeah. on a no fly list. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Oh man, I, a lady almost hit me with her car. This is probably about a year ago, and oh. she was definitely late into her sixties. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I beeped the horn, and she started yelling at me, and I just screamed right out the car, "Shut up, you old cunt!" Nice. Hell <laughs> and, yeah. she's, <gasps> and I just drove away. <laughs> nice. There you go. Ruined her day. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, 70 year old people don't talk like that. And they yeah. certainly wouldn't expect, you know, a, a grown man to go that hard on the first retort back. Yeah. So I was like, I'm ending this now. Nice. I hit her with, I hit her with the sledgehammer and drove off. Yeah. You, you hit her with the Gallagher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Gallagher. Yeah, a lot yeah. of Gallagher references this episode. Yeah. We love Gallagher. He's my favorite comedian. Dude, I, best dude, comedian of all when time. When I was a kid, I won't front. I liked watching some Gallagher. Dude, he fucking nine. ruled. Yeah. Okay. Look, he. He's the best comedian of all time because right now, if you see a guy go on stage and he hits a watermelon with a giant hammer, you're going to be like, I know where I saw that before. Yeah. There's no comedians hitting watermelons with hammers or hitting any food or fruit with hammers also, anymore. What a, what a great act. I mean, like... You all, only you, need like 10 minutes You of go comedy. to the produce section and you buy a sledgehammer Actually, and you got a national fucking headlining <laughs> act. Yeah, but back now then. that's got to be tough because... The grocery prices yeah, are grocery prices terrible. Are high, man. Yeah, it's tough out there. Mm-hmm. You gotta and start it, small, then get grapes. And it's gotta <laughs> and suck. A little tack hammer. <laughs> it's gotta suck being like the comedy club owner, where it's like, God oh man, my like god, fucking Gallagher's yeah, here. We the got the fucking wa- janitor's like, what is all this shit? Yeah, yeah, like, you gotta you gotta get yeah, like a power afterwards. washing crew. What'd you say? The cleanup afterwards. Yeah, you yeah. gotta get like yeah. a fucking power it's washing a nightmare, crew. Dude. To, yeah. Nightmare. Have yeah. you heard the uh, the podcast episode with Gallagher on WTF with Mark Maron? What, yeah. Now wait a minute. Was it the original Gallagher or his or Gallagher's brother? Because Gallagher's yeah, brother yeah. ended up buying his act. Yeah, the original Gallagher, Whoa. and they get and they get into that, and Gallagher walks out on him. Yeah, uh, yeah. walks out on Mark Maron. Well, that's probably one of the best Mark. podcast episodes like <laughs> yeah. ever. Ever. Yeah, he gets really mad. So good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Gallagher gets all, all like bitter and pissed off and storms Dude, out. Think about how amazing it is too that like people because nowadays I feel like a lot of people who watch comedy or go to live comedy they get a little uh, a little skittish about sitting in front because they're like, ooh, I don't want the comic to quote unquote pick on me, mm-hmm. which most comics wouldn't because they don't want to talk to you. They don't yeah. want to do their act, but. Back when he was doing it, Gallagher was doing it, he was smashing fruit all over the first 10 rows, and they would be lined up around the corner to sit in those rows in their stupid ponchos to get fucking, you know, think, you know cantaloupe yeah. juice all over their hair. Just think about this, too, though. Like, okay, most comics sell merch on the way out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? wow. You got, you, got a, you got a merch guy on the way in selling, selling ponchos, ponchos, dude. Dude, he's killing a fucking it. genius. Killing it. Now that Selling he, ponchos, towels. That completely changed my views on Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, I mean, rules. I always liked him, but that is genius. He's, no, selling, he is, he's selling merch on the way in and out. Yeah, he's awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. Gallagher rules. Is he alive? Mm. I want to get him on this podcast. Uh, I will not bring up his brother. Yeah, he is He is on the podcast. I, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if he's cool with his brother or not, but 
I uh, I did on the road in Florida. There's like these like old comedy clubs, yeah, and some of them have like old headshots of like yeah comics. of guys who died in the Dude, 40s. Yeah, one of them had a uh, like black and white headshot of uh, Gallagher too. It literally said Gallagher too on the. Headshot. That must be tough being Gallagher's brother, just fucking yeah. knowing you're not the shit. That's a, what a crazy time in comedy where it was like literally like an AI bot. That was like the first, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was the first like clone doing comedy. Yeah, it really was. It was like, yeah, an, like, like an impersonator. His comedy. Yeah. The yeah. Verzi triplet should do that. They just take turns doing this. Yeah, just be, <laughs> just be the Verzi triplet and then just go do three Three different, different sets. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Why don't they do they that? They take turns like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just do that. Yeah. It's a, Dude, when I was in college, I had like uh, twin buddies. They were on my tennis team and they always like yelled at each other and they'd like split them up. From, yeah. They were a doubles team and they would always fight each other. So then we had to split them up and um, it was pretty funny watching. Was them, like, one better than the other? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Because I'm always <laughs> curious about that. Like, yeah. That's interesting because like t technically they have identical DNA. Yeah. So that goes to show you one of those brothers worked harder and one didn't. Yeah. <laughs> like, I always, I always made fun of them too. I would always be like, uh, I always called them Chris and Wes, okay, because th their names were Chris and Wes, but I called them always Chris and Wes. Oh, both together. To each other face, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'd be like, "What's up, Chris and Wes?" Nice. Did they Even dress alike I, too? If I kind of, yeah. And it Why was would like, you do that? Bro, if you it was, alike. it was fucking nuts, dude. And one time we played pickup basketball, and someone picked one of them, and uh, and then the other one, like, I was like, "Wait, what are you doing? You both." Yeah, they're you unit. guys are a package deal. You guys cannot be separated. This yeah. is bullshit. <laughs> and it's like we're both. You look exactly the same. This is well, bullshit. Yeah, especially if they're on opposite teams of playing like pickup basketball. Yeah, it, it's like I'm gonna bounce the ball to the other opposing team every time. They fought it, and then they were on different teams, and there was like 70 turnovers because <laughs> somebody passed to the wrong, to the wrong guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. And they would do it. They were like the guy on the other team would be like Jeff, and I'd be like, and he'd be like, ha, ha. And I'd be like, God damn it! Yeah. Did 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 either of them ever like, uh, you know, dress up like their brother one day and try and bang his girl? I don't know if that works. You know? Yeah. Uh, pro probably not. Okay. I would say, because like they they were like a little different, like emotionally too. All right. You know, the girl like, the girl would pick up on it. One was, yeah, the girl would pick up on it for sure. Yeah, because I feel like with chicks, like it's like they get a little closer, yeah. you know? There's some sort of pheromone thing going on that we yeah. don't know about? Mm -hmm. Probably. But it is weird to like a twin, right? Because it's like... Well, because then you know they're, you're attracted to their brother. Yeah. You know, like I would not want her around my brother because he looks just like me. So, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, gonna, we're exactly the same. So yeah. what, is, what is this yeah. bullshit? You know? Yeah, yeah. For up to her, she'd double team us. Yeah, I'd be like mad. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. I didn't know your brother was coming over. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, here's a great one. What is your body count? Oh man, that is not <laughs> for public consumption. Yeah, it's not public information. You see, here's my answer to that. I don't know, and that's honest. Yeah. Also, only a fucking creep keeps a body count at 40 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, that's the kind of thing you do that's when you're, the guy when you're in high school and you only bang three chicks. You know, like, yeah. He's like, like three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Little tally marks. <laughs> yeah. If I, what, yeah. You know, I have no idea. No, it's the it's the same guy that has his categorized porn. Yes. Yes. But the guy that has the categorized porn is also like. Three. Three. <laughs> three. One. Yeah. No, all three are prostitutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's the same prostitute. Like, I've had sex three, three times. Three times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's another question that, that, I, that I don't ask in a relationship and I would never answer. Uh, like I said, one, because I don't know the actual count, but two, I don't want to know. Like, how is that going to help my relationship with any woman, knowing mm -hmm. how many guys she slept with and how many girls I slept with before we met each other? Oh, you don't want to know. That's none of our fucking business. You don't want to know Before I met you, I, I was born yesterday. Assume, assume I, like, don't ask me about my past at all. Like, you, know? you don't want to know how many a woman has slept with. Because no. it could be infinity. It, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it it's, could. Like, it's like that scene in Clerks, you know? It's like, how many have you been with? What, something like 36? What, 36? And it's like, oh, I've sucked 37 dicks. Yeah, yeah, and it's like I'm 37. It's like yeah, but you're my number four of like sleeping with, and it's like oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also like, uh, like you said, it it doesn't help. The, like I was saying, it doesn't help the relationship, and there is that double standard that exists. And I'm sorry, ladies, it does. That there's you know, just like we still pay for fucking dinner when we go out on a date, even though you know we're all about equality now. A woman like bragging about her body count is not impressive to me. 
No. Because she could have like she could have sex every hour of the day, every day of the week for the rest of her life mm-hmm. if her standards were low enough. Whereas yeah. even the best looking guys still have to put in some work to get laid. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, like you, ha- you have to like make yourself available, talk to women, like, you know, pay for the date. Like, yeah. like you know, a, a woman can literally just answer DM every hour and have a guy ring her doorbell. Mm-hmm. You know, n- uh, most it's guys like can't do that. What's that? Yeah, yeah like DoorDash. DoorDash. Exactly. Yeah. So it's that's why the double standard exists. That's why it's not impressive. Women like you know I'm you know I'm a proud whatever they call it uh, the yeah. slut walk and all that stuff. It's like all right, great. I'm I'm glad you have sexual liberation, but you know treating it like uh, like a disposable fucking you know like like a disposable razor head, just like oh, one after the other after the other. It's yeah. not a way to do it. You know like yeah. like guys have to still earn it. Where women are the are women are pursued. We are the pursuer typically. I, yeah. So I I, I don't I put any stock in a big number on a woman. Now if a guy's a big number, it's like wow, he must have fucking really been hustling. You yeah. know, like, and he had to put up with all those women you know, he's a for, for some amount of yeah. time. He's a go-getter, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, um, it's kind of got you higher. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the guy that crushes buzz. <laughs> hey, man, listen, means people like him. He's got some charm, right? Yeah, you want that. Now, obviously, you don't want to hire him if you work at uh, like a Hooters because then he's just, you know trying to bang all the staff. Mm-hmm. But you know, if at a regular company, if he's an accountant somewhere, yeah, yeah. you know, nice. That's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love that while you're opening a beer. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you don't want to be with the Hooters. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's like 1130 in the morning. Yeah, too. we're starting to fucking 1130 it's in the so morning. It's so early. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I'm a comedian. A tail- what the fuck, I got, yeah. fuck else I got to do today? It's a tailgate, dude. Yeah, I, I'm, I might be starting a new day job soon, so I'm going to get my drinking in now, buddy. Oh, um, yeah. Right uh, before your first shift. <laughs> I, I just got off the uh, off of a phone call, like an interview, a phone, a, a, a Zoom interview. Yeah. So I started. Drinking like, I, it's it's going well. We're gonna love you at the company. Psst. What was that? <laughs> I pop- oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't this is my worry third beer it. of the morning. <laughs> Never you mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's a great one. Would you kiss a woman after a BJ? Um. Sure. Question that that he, you got to clarify though. Yeah. After you, if you finish in her mouth. Well, I mean, I've done it before, you know. Really? Yeah. You see, I'll do it if she, you know, if, if she starts off. It's there. not like she's like immediately doing it and then like. Oh, she's not snowballing. No. Yet. Okay. That's okay. no good. Yeah. If but, I finish in her mouth, she's got to brush her teeth first. Okay. Just nice. because, yeah, because I don't, I'm sure she doesn't what want about that one of taste those, in her mouth either. I'm trying to be kind to her. What like, about one of those uh, I brush whips. my teeth after yeah, a cup of coffee. Da- same if you go down on her too. It's like, all right, brush your teeth. I've oh, had, no, I've no, had, no, had, no. I go right up to their face with that. Wait, w- say that again? If I go down on a girl, mm-hmm. I go right to her mouth. Yeah. Okay. And that's the rules, right? Yeah. It's, it, should, it should be the rule, but I've, I've, been, I've been with three different girls that where I try to go straight for the mouth, and they're like, no, 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 we need to stop. No, I would respect that. I would respect Yeah, I would respect I agree. I yeah. would respect if a woman didn't want me to kiss her after I went down. On yeah. Her. Totally but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay. So you well, because try things out. Very weird. Because, no, no, it, it's not weird. Because think about it this way. Like, if a girl is giving you a BJ, you don't always finish in her mouth. But if yeah. you're going down on a girl, you're getting a mouthful no matter what. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So if I, if, so I'm, the esen- I'm essentially swallowing every time I go down on a girl. Mm. So I'm going to try and kiss him afterward. Yeah. But I'm not always finishing in her, in her mouth. It's way, it's way easier to suck a dick than it is to eat a pussy, too. It, it is laughably that much easier. It's so much easier. Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. It, dude, it's like the contra code to try to figure out and how women, to Women act like they're like the fucking champion of it, you know? Oh, there's so many women out there who do who like, they're oh, like, yeah, I'm you're the best. so good. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You see, that, that's because guys are just are very, are very kind. Because I think we're just happy to get... Mm-hmm. The sexual attention. Yeah. So we'll just, great job, honey. Great. Yeah, yeah. You, know, great you want to pump them up, you know? Yeah. I mean, it does, it does a lot for confidence. It says a lot about people's confidence when you're positive, yeah. right? Yeah. So being very positive is good. Yeah. But, you know, there needs to be some. Yeah, but you don't want to tell them, hey, you suck because then they'll never do it again. Sure. You got to like nudge them towards what you want, you know? Yeah. Uh, that is tough to give instructions, you know? What's that? Well, I like mean, coaching them up. Some yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, looking back at my you know my you know, early twenties there was a lot of that yeah no 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 not like that less teeth you know yeah 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 <laughs> yeah you know that uh, is yeah that is tough yeah. yeah and also you don't want to get too pushy right because if you start mm-hmm. you know <laughs> you could you know cut off their, their fucking breath yeah. <laughs> you don't know, pass it out on you yeah because then the cops show up and you got to explain why you got a passed out chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. It's, it's a, a whole, it's a, it's a whole thing. The whole thing, dude. Yeah. The cops, the cops frown upon it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you take a shit on the first date? I, I feel like that's a, I mean, the answer is no, but if you have to, it's like you, what are you going to do? You got to go and you got to go. Yeah. I think this question came up because I've said on this podcast before that women taking a dump on the first date is like their version of big dick energy, you know, because women are very self-conscious about how they look and smell and all that. Wait, you're saying if a dude takes a shit on the first date, that's like big dick energy? No, if a woman does it. Like, I've been on a date with a woman, and she went to the bathroom for an inordinately long amount of time. Yeah. And I knew what she was doing, and, she, and I, I kind of teased her about it, and she giggled. Yeah. But I was like, oh, respect, man. She fucking, you know, she, like, that's a strong, independent woman who feels comfortable <laughs> off around me to take a shit in the middle of a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. you know, like, so, but as a guy, right, you know, uh, w nothing we do is- What a queen. Denny's <laughs> on me. <laughs> I'm paying for this Queen's yeah. IHOP. But I will say, I've taken a shit on the first date. If, like I said, I'm with you. If I got to go, I got to go. Like, I, I try to go before I go out, so yeah. I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. But if, it, if, it, if the feeling arises, I'm going to go. Yeah. But I will tell you this. I am not shy about farting in front of women early and often. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, by, by the second or third date, if, you know, if, I got, if I could cut one and it's funny, yeah. I'm going to cut it. Nice. So I feel like it's a, it, it, like I said before. I feel like it's a it's a it's a power move. It kind of shows your you know you have the Dominance. confidence. Like yeah, look, I'm gonna fart, and you're not gonna even run away about it. You know, yeah, yeah. you know, because okay. when the king farts, you just smell it. Yeah, you know that kind of thing. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not really my move. I don't really do that. <laughs> but that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll keep we'll keep it on the uh, on the topic of of taking a dump. Uh, when you shit, do you stand up to wipe or do you stay sit stay seated? I stay seated. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of do the get up and you do the lean forward so you can really get in there. Well, yeah. But you're still like on the toilet, right? Well, I'm not putting my hand in the water. No. You know, like, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, actually, you know, the sex swing thing, that's actually <laughs> how I do it. You got a sex swing and a fire hose I, in your bathroom? I hit a, there's a, there's like a electronic device. I push it, it lifts me up. Yeah. And then I. Yeah. People have been I pushing walk. that on me, the bidet. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Everybody's if I take a shit so dirty that I need to get water in my ass, I'm stripping down and getting in my shower. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I just have a. You know, hose I'm not gonna put with, a little, yeah. a little, a little splash of water in my asshole. I'm going head to toe, fucking washing. I have it. a hose running from the outside of my apartment into my. <laughs> you window. get a power washer <laughs> yeah. for your butthole. Yeah, one of those things you like wash your car with. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have different settings, different settings that you can it? twist the little knob for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's an interesting one. Would you circumcise your son? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, probably. Yeah, see, this is one I'm, I'm circumcised. So am I. And but I've then there's like this big movement of people that are like, don't cut our penises. Yeah, but I've listened to that movement. I'm like, you know what? You know, some dudes are like trying like, we to... We don't remove our appendix before it bursts. Why would you cut off your foreskin, you know, it, before mm -hmm. it gets infected? It always gets infected. But there's most of the rest of the world doesn't circumcise yeah, but their does boys. It, does it no, get it in, doesn't. Yeah. Most of the rest of the world, everyone in the UK doesn't get circumcised at birth the way the way Americans do. And I don't hear this rampant problem of of infected mm -hmm. foreskins in, in London. You there's know, like, like these weirdos that are like really pissed about it about being circumcised. That's weird. They're like, yeah, I was weird. circumcised. Why? What the fuck? And then, then there's these, they, they do this thing where they're like, it feels better if you're not circumcised. This is bullshit. How but do you like, know you're not you, circumcised? Yeah, exactly. How do you know? Well, I assume this because there's more nerve endings, but you talk. Like, I'm not, I'm yeah. never like fucking someone. I'm like, this <laughs> sucks. <laughs> what the fuck? If this I had a regular, foreskin, this would be good. Yeah, this yeah. regular circumcised fucking is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad at my parents. There's dudes trying to restore their foreskin, too. Oh, dude, they too. get weights. Yeah. They get little, like, lead weights that they, like, put. <laughs> hang that, up their fucking Imagine skin. getting busted by your girl Pretty trying up. to elongate your foreskin. You yeah, know? I bet she's going to be like, why don't you just try and elongate like, the whole dick, dude? What is wrong with your penis? <laughs> If you're gonna elongate something, elongate the entire penis. Yeah, yeah not just exactly. the foreskin. Yeah, yeah why would you do like that? That sounds like HBO Real Sex 34 type yeah, of shit. Dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking so weird, dude. <laughs> like trying to rest and plus, you're not restoring your foreskin. You're just pulling. Yeah, you're stretching it out. Yeah, it's like you're. It's like having a dilapidated pair of socks. You know when the elastic don't work no more. Yeah, that's what it's kind of like. So now it's you like have a, like, a, dick, like a weird hood. Like a yeah, dick it's like hood. a dick Botox. <laughs> You know, dude, did you know? And I, I learned this. From, I learned this from my from my gay roommate. 
gay <laughs> guys will get Botox in their anus to make it look younger. How crazy Wait, is that? Does your asshole look older? Well, they bleach them and they want them to like look smooth and presentable. Wow. So they will do that. Man. Dude, that there is... are people giving Botox their dogs. Could you Dog imagine? Dog Botox? Yeah. Why Dude, people they... put fake testicles in their dogs when they get them neutered sometimes. Yeah, that's weird. That that's so creepy to me. It's like if I did that, I would put like it would be pretty obvious that it was a fake fake nuts. Just get yeah. gigantic. No, it'd just be like a tote bag. Make them gold. <laughs> like you know that a little you know pouch. That, yeah, you know that like grocery bag that zips at the top. Oh yeah, a little change purse. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'd be like a full size one, so I carry my groceries in it. Just dragging behind them. Yeah, my dog at the grocery store just carrying a big fucking. <laughs> They're like, what is that Trader Joe's bag? I'm like, that's my dog's nutsack, actually. <laughs> yeah, don't they're like, it looks like don't talk about it like that hurts his feelings. <laughs> yeah, you're hurting my dog's feelings <laughs> with his Trader Joe's nutsack. Here's a question from a woman. Uh, how do I get over a fuckboy? How do you get over a fuckboy? Yeah. You got to meet a new fuckboy. That's pretty much how it works. Mm -hmm. I, I, is she, are you into fuckboys? Is that your type? Or is or were you looking for a guy that was not a fuck boy who is a fuck boy, right? So, but that's still on them. I, I tell this to women all the time, like, ah, oh, you know, I, I attract the wrong men. It's like, yeah, well, that's what you like, you know. Yeah. So you got to you got to figure that out. You got to mm -hmm. either change your desires or expect to be getting the same kind of guy over and over. But I agree with you. To get over anybody, you have to put bodies in between you and them. Yeah, you know, that's you got to put as many bodies between you and your ex as possible. That's mm -hmm. the fastest way you get over it. Yeah, you know that's just that that's just the way it is. Unless you're like you're one of these Zen masters who can like you know join a retreat, sex cult. Re retreat to a fucking truck stop and you know and, mm -hmm. and you know yeah. take some mushrooms and find God or something like that. Yeah, you know like, <laughs> like the, the only way like yeah. doing mushrooms at a glory hole at a truck stop is pretty wild. Dude, that sounds like the worst afternoon <laughs> yeah. ever. ever. Uh, I'm tripping. It's a, no. I'm There's actually, so many dicks coming out of yeah. holes. Like no, whack them no, all that's out actually here. happening. <laughs> you're not seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have some follow-up questions for that. Like, what, what makes this guy a fuckboy? That's the other thing, too. That term is thrown around a lot. It's like, he's a fuckboy because he didn't want to date you. Yeah. You know, like, uh, like he might be a perfectly nice oh, guy. He, he just doesn't like you. He a bunch you. of pussy. Oh, I'm sorry I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, Let me also, apologize for being too cool. Yeah, but also, like I said, he might be a really great guy, just doesn't like you. It yeah. doesn't make him a fuckboy. No, he might even like you. It's just he doesn't want to settle down. Yeah, that's also... You know, Things were good, and you're making it not cool, right? Yeah. She's like, you know, you guys are hanging out, having a good time, having fun sex, you know, doing yeah. whatever you do. And then they're like, what are we? And it's like, we're having a good time is what dude, we're doing. if you're lucky, doing. they say, what are we? A Why lot are of, a you lot, ruining lot, this? Dude, you're lucky if she says, what are we? A lot of women will just... Uh, assume that it's going towards a relationship without asking the question and then flip out yeah you yeah. gotta I, i'm i've always said you gotta have the sit down mm -hmm. you know are we dating yeah. yes are we moving towards ex being exclusive you gotta do that yes the, are the, we yeah. do you want to start a relationship it's yeah, a like, corporate like zoom call yeah. in the kinda. same way you have to have affirmative consent for sex with women these days you have to have affirmative consent on relationship status with men mm -hmm. that's the rule yeah that's my Yeah, role. women want consent to sex, and then men want consent, consent to, relationship. to the relationship. That's right. Yeah, that's that's exactly, absolutely that's right. Yes, Agreed. I've been taken advantage of many a times. <laughs> me too, all right? I am part of the Me yeah. Too movement. Yeah. I have been in relationships where I'm like, well, how did this I didn't happen? Want this. Yeah. I didn't want this. Yeah. And I the, didn't and, agree to this. And no one talks about the female power dynamic in that situation. Oh, my God. Because they have the vagina. They have all the power. Mm -hmm. So they trap you. They sort of manipulate you with that. And yeah. then when you wake up and say, I didn't know, I, I didn't really want this relationship. They're like, too late, you're in it. It's like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's not how this works. Like, like yeah. if, it were, if, if it were that way with sex with men. It's, a, it's like getting pussy is like the signature on the contract. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're like, I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. And they're like, you fucked my pussy. Yeah, so, so I guess that's, you know, <laughs> that, that, that holds up in a court of law, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish the I judge is like you. Did you fuck her pussy? Did you penetrate? <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you? Did you bust? <laughs> well, now you bought it. You know well, I mean? it appears. Yeah, it's Judge Judy. <laughs> you bought it, Mister. Like she's yeah. all mad. Case closed. <laughs> yeah, hits your dick with the hammer. <laughs> Bam. But it's, it's Gallagher. It's Gallagher. Oh, Jesus, yeah. break your dick off. Third callback to Gallagher. I know. <laughs> third call. <laughs> Uh, what is your go-to strategy for dumping somebody? 
Um, dumping somebody. Yeah, are you, you gotta, a ghoster? You, are you nah, a... Uh, you got to have the talk. Depends on the relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Depends on the relationship. Sometimes uh, they fizzle out. You know, that happens. That's if the best case scenario. If they're casual. Best case scenario is the fizzle out. But that's that's usually a casual thing. So yeah. it was never really a relationship in the first place. But, uh, you know, I think, yeah, you got to have a talk. Yeah. You know? you gotta, I have, I have communication a, is key. Yeah. I have, I have a, like, a, like a, my own little personal rule of three. Three dates. I don't know. I don't even know you a fucking text message. I could just walk away. Right. Okay. Three weeks, text messages. Mm-hmm. Three months, phone call. Anything beyond three months, Zoom? you got to do it in person. Zoom yeah. call? Zoom call? No, no, come on. This is not COVID time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Like, I feel like after three dates, I didn't ghost you if I didn't text you back. It's just I didn't want a fourth date. Mm-hmm. I don't owe you shit. Yeah. You know, if, if I've known you for three weeks and we've been out a bunch of times, all right, I, I should call you up and say, hey, look, I'm, you know, I don't really, I'm looking for something else. Mm. Uh, you know, three, and anything after three months, if you've been seeing it for three months, then you got to do it in person. Be like, hey, look, this isn't what. I want it to sort of work out. Yeah. And, what I, and what I go with on dumping, I'm just saying, you know, I'm not happy. Mm-hmm. Like, like I'm, I'm looking for something else. It's not, you know, not the, not the it's not you, it's me thing. It's just, this is not the kind of relationship I want. <laughs> no, it actually is you. It is you. It, is, it usually is them. Yeah. I mean, look, I, th- I are, have my own you problems. You are trash, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brutal honesty. Your pussy is garbage. Yeah, I met way hotter girls yeah. than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like, you, you got to tell them like, yeah, I'm just not, I'm, I, I don't want this kind of relationship with you. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to go beyond that. And just and you got to stick to it. That's the hard part. After three months, because sometimes they'll break out the waterworks on you, start crying, making you feel guilty, they'll get angry, get sad. You know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Sometimes they threaten to harm themselves, which is awful. But you just got to say, I'm not happy. I want something else in my life. And you got. And the key is, the key is, stop sleeping with them. Mm-hmm. You can't. You can't separate until you stop banging them. That's why you feel like you have this on again, off again, or you're hooking up with your ex. That's how this shit drags out. Mm-hmm. Every ex girlfriend I've ever had, oh. I stopped having sex with cold turkey. Wow. Yeah, dude. Got to yeah. do it that way. Yeah. That's tough, you know. You gotta do a like a patch, <laughs> a fuck patch, a fuck patch. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got like a like a like a, a pussy vape pen mm-hmm. of some sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm fucking. I, <laughs> I'm going to visit my buddy in his little uh, porn dungeon to get his mm-hmm. all his material. Yeah, to, yeah. He's yeah, like, to, to film me. He'll be he's like, like, let me, let me. Check my archive, and he's like, yeah. Looking. Which one of these girls looks like most like your girlfriend? He's like one of those guys at the weed store, like telling you the different types of strain. He's like, oh, you need a pussy vape pen. Let me. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking for you. more like energetic or kind of lay on the couch? Would you like type a sativa of... pussy or <laughs> indica pussy? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, we'll wrap up with this. If you could punch a celeb in the face, who would it be? Hmm. Celebrity in the face. I don't know, man. Um, I, I haven't been like watching anything really. So you don't have somebody that you just hate? No, not really. Some famous person who sucks. I'm trying to think who really annoys me. I mean, I feel like there's an easy one for all of us. Kanye West, right? I assume you don't get down with the anti-Semitism. He's an easy one. Uh, no, he's like cool, it. actually. <laughs> 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 Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, I bought all this out lately. Actually, I would <laughs> high five him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, he he actually helped me out, dude. Kanye West. Yeah, how's that? when how's that? he was, well, when he was like shitting on Adidas or whatever, he was like, Adidas will never drop me. Fuck them. I can say the most fucked up shit ever. Uh, I and then all these articles came out. They were like, fuck Adidas. This piece of shit company has has not dropped him. Their stock ate shit. Okay. So I bought a bunch. Oh, look at you. I, I didn't know you were an investor. Went way down. So I'm like, it's not going anywhere. They still sell the cars that Nazis had. So, <laughs> like, is that really going to... every. Is, are we going to stop wearing Adidas, you yeah. know? So so I bought a bunch of stock in Adidas and... You made a little thanks, money. Thanks, Kanye. There you go. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder who I would punch in the face. <clears throat> I mean, problem is, I can think of, like... <laughs> five female celebrities I, I wish I could punch in the face. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, but yeah. you know, I guess it would assume that it's not okay for men to punch women. Mm-hmm. You know? Whoopi yeah. Goldberg is a pest. Yeah, she's annoying. Yeah, yeah. she's annoying. Yeah, she's uh, like, it's like you could... That she's Dylan Mulvaney. T- that Dylan Mulvaney. I, I don't give a shit about <laughs> Budweiser or, you know, their problems with the trans community. But because of that woman, all we're hearing about is this shit now. That is annoying. You know? Like, yeah. Gre- Greta Thunberg, you know... <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's, oh, a, she's yeah. a woman and a child. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I would punch her. Well, she's actually an adult now. 
Is she? Yeah, yeah, because we did a, I did a podcast about about her. Or, yeah, well, okay. yeah, the two woke boys celebrated her 18th birthday by offering to have sex with her. <laughs> ah, I love it. Oh my god, that's such a good thing. This is my favorite title of a podcast I've ever come up with. What is the title? The title was so it was her 18th birthday, and the boys on the show were like, "We will fuck you for your 18th birthday." <laughs> uh, we called that. Episode, it got banned from YouTube immediately. I, I titled that episode. Uh, stimulating Greta's climate, and I capitalize C L I and T. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pretty proud of that one. Nice, yeah. nice. I think there's some guys I punch. I mean, Putin's kind of a little fucking little worm. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, th that's the thing. I feel like a lot of uh, most celebrities I don't give a shit about because I, I don't give them any time of day. But I will say, like, like anyone saying like some sort of like cultural figures, the bullshit. Pope. You know, I, that, that, the, not, not, the, not, the, not the current one who's kind of cool with the gays. Yeah. But the old fucking Ratzenberger, the old Nazi youth mm -hmm. that got the cover up of pedophilia, I'd punch the shit out of him. Yeah. You know, like a lot of politicians. I'd knock out most politicians if I had the chance. Oh, yeah. I mean, 99% of politicians, I would lay the fuck out yeah. if, I, if I wasn't going to go to jail for it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and honestly, I feel like if they faced that threat of actually getting their ass kicked when they went back to their you know, th their home constituency, they might act better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because a lot of times they get in office and they do whatever the fuck they want. They don't actually they should, answer to their constituents. They should have to do that thing where they sit in the town square with their head and hands oh, through yeah. thing and we get to whip tomatoes at them. Yes, dude. That's we what, need to bring back public humiliation. Yeah, dude. Big time. I mean, it kind of exists, but in a, like, public sphere on, like, Instagram. No, 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 no. That, that's chicken shit. Public humiliation. Yeah, that's a lot of. That's a it lot. Of, could, I mean, it does suck, though. It does suck, and well, it can't I mean, ruin your life. Like, and it can't ruin your yeah, life. Like that. But that's, but that's bagel not, boss guy flipping oh, out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I'm saying, but what if you just got? What if you just got tarred and feathered? Then was over. Yeah. I'd rather that than being my reputation being smeared all over fucking Instagram. Yeah, but then, which but is, the, say, but now which is funny because there's no way you could smear my reputation. My reputation's terrible on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> they would just really just air the podcast. <laughs> Be like, yeah, exactly. They'd be like, we've increased the visibility of your podcast as a punishment. <laughs> to end my career. Yeah. That's, that's all, yeah. We've made you famous because of your yeah, podcast. The far left. And also you're canceled for the same thing that you're famous for. <laughs> it's usually the case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can only hope for so much. That would be great. I know. I know. Dude, yeah. this was fun, man. What, oh, yeah. uh, what do you got coming up, brother? Uh, what do you want to plug besides the two woke boys, guys, guys and gals? It's the best fucking. Uh, trust me, mm -hmm. I love the. Uh, you had the the poly thing that you posted on uh, yeah. the other day. Yeah, yeah. We, we are we are we, poly we should, boys. We can get around scheduling. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, great yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What are your views on polyamory? Let me ask no, you before we, you go. Here's a here's a personal question. Do you think polyamory is like a legitimate relationship status? Uh, I believe uh, women made it up. <laughs> right. I, it's it's women made it up because. It's they're the beneficiary. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it used to be called cheating. That's what it used to be called. Yeah. And then now they're doing this like, oh, I'm ethically non-monogamous. Yeah, yeah. They do that, which there is something to that where it's like, okay, like the lying of cheating is bad, but then at the same time, like you're still cheating. Yeah. 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 It's still it's it's still probably gonna bother the other person. Like, yeah, I don't want to hang out with you tonight. I'm gonna go fuck yeah. my stranger. I think women use it to like not settle with a guy that they don't really like. Yeah, you know. But I mean, that's better than a woman cheating, though, too. So. Well, yeah, at least she's honest. Yeah. I will say that. But I also think I feel but, like. But I'll say yeah. this: usually, when a woman is like in a polyamorous relationship with a guy, that guy can't fuck anybody. Else. Yes, exactly. He's like unable to fuck other people. Yeah, and the guy is like usually like super unhappy. So. Yeah, no. yeah. He's like, now, if you're a guy that can get pussy, it seems like no woman wants to be poly with you. Of course not. So, because well, it doesn't benefit them. No, because if they're the ones, so po yeah, poly is like a manipulative cheating that women are using to. Yeah. I feel. I feel like polyamory not is not all. Not no, all cases the are that, but the I do believe there is a. There is a large contingent of women that are using this as some sort of like cheating yeah, mechanism. Yeah, I agree, and I think I think it's I think it's women use polyamory as a as a way to to cheat ethically, if you will, and men use polyamory as a way to say that they're single but not look like a scumbag. Mm -hmm. You know, like because yeah. if you're an open polyamory guy, that is wild. 
Yeah, well, yeah. That, that, that's, then you're just a single guy who's, who has one girl who you yeah. mainly bang and a bunch of other girls you bang on the side. Yeah, which is being yeah, single. Like, yeah, I mean, that's those, just, are, those are like sex cult guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those yeah. guys that like, they look like me. <laughs> well, no, those sex cult guys, those sex cult guys don't, don't allow the rest of the men in their cult to have sex with. They, uh, they, no, they're the only uh, ones yes. allowed to bang all the women. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like... They, so the women they, are monogamous in that situation. Yeah, but th- that's a, exactly what I'm saying. It's like, they're, they're the kind of guys, they're like, I'm polyamorous. And they're like this, like... They try to have this like weird figure about themselves being like very like yeah aloof yeah like uh, did you watch that documentary about the the gun uh, the what's that fucking yoga guy Bic- oh yeah Bikram Bikram, Bikram dude, yoga so funny yeah dude <laughs> hilarious I mean dude the what way a he- ridiculous. The whole thing was like... I am obsessed with the idea of cults, Jeff. You have no idea. No, that guy ruled. He came over <laughs> here, okay? He came over here. This is pre-internet. This yeah. guy comes over to the United States. He goes, I'm the champion of yoga. And then people were like, what? what? what What's you- yoga? Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's like uh, this thing. It's stretching. stretching. Yeah, I wear a diaper and I stretch while I do it. And I'm... I'm the champion of the world at it. And then they find out later, they're like, there's no, there's no championship. Fish. What is yeah. this fuckhead talking about? But he literally like was on TV like saying that. To, yeah. like, Dude, and he talked to women the way I do, calling them fat pigs while they're working yeah, out. Yeah, that's the other you thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he brought Little League intense coach energy to Hollywood. No one's ever heard that because all actors, everything you hear is, hey, good. Great job. Good. Yeah. You did good. Yeah. Thanks. We're, we'll call you. We won't, but good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's all that here. So, and this guy's like, "You're a fat piece of shit, you fucking pussy." Which I played sports, so that's all I heard growing yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but women in yoga classes don't normally yeah. hear that. Yeah, you know, especially these Hollywood, you know, fancy pants chicks who are wearing all the Lululemon. They, they don't. They're not typically having a, a five foot four inch fucking Indian guy yeah. step on their stomach while they're doing some it's weird so pose, crazy. calling them a fat pig. You Dude, know, like so crazy. And then th- you saw the part where he's doing the uh, like he's like doing the classes, and it's like every person in there is like paying like ten grand. Oh yeah, and he's like in a like tent where oh, he's on a throne for Christ's sake. He's, I mean, it's a piece of shit. Oh, you it's know, a terrible, it's like a sweatshop. But, he, but throne, he is on. He is, is he, he is but a he, good five feet above everyone. And on he a does big have chair. a fan on him only. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Everyone's like dying in there and he's got- It's like, 180 Ooh. degrees. He can't even hear. They're like, I'm dying. He's like, I can't hear you over, over the fan. my fan. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what you're saying, but you're probably a pussy. <laughs> you're fat. And somehow that guy's not canceled. That guy's still- living. No, he's canceled for sure. He, what, he's in prison. He's got all his money. He's fucking fine. Uh, he's a king in India, whatever the fuck they got over there. You know, yeah, I forget. A sultan. I, I don't I know what they got in India. Whatever. The, the, I will say the second half of that thing doesn't look as good for him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's, where, that's where all the people were like, he actually raped me. Yeah. That's where all that happened. That's where it always ends up. I yeah. say it every time. We talk, we talk about these cult Why leaders. can't they- like, But just get, get pussy- from you know what I mean? See this this is this is the same thing. Why why this go... is how you this is how you know those guys are those kind of guys are predators, right? Like look at look, let's look at uh, Bill Cosby, right? Mm-hmm. Fucking guy was the biggest comic for the for like forty years. Mm-hmm. These women would have fallen over themselves to have sex with him. He wanted to drug them. That's mm-hmm. what makes him an evil predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know that, that's what I don't get. Like there was a a million women. You know he was a uh, guy who would have sex with him for free, consensually, in any way he wanted, but he wanted to drug them and rape them. That's what makes him crazy. Same thing with Bigger Mill. He could have had sex with any one of those followers. Yeah. He chose to sexually assault them. Yeah. That's what makes him a fucking animal. Yeah. You know? That's they don't so want crazy. consent. That's the thing. They they do not want consent. Yeah. It's crazy. They're like bored by yeah. it. Because what's funny, what turns me on is consent. Yeah. yeah. I like when a woman wants to be there. That yeah. actually most of the time I'm having sex with a girl. What I'm really doing is stroking my own, my own ego because she agreed to have sex with me. Yeah. yeah. It's really just an ego stroke. It has nothing to do with her. It has, it has yeah. to do with how I feel about myself that she accepted me. Zero. Not <laughs> even just, there. Yeah, she's a fleshlight Who with cares? fucking that cries. Who cares about this bitch? <laughs> wow. It's an interesting look into the psyche uh, of Randy. Know, we it love says it. a lot about me. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> No, that's great. That's a good. Uh, that's a good observation. Yeah. Well, this will be the last episode we ever air. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. We have outdone ourselves again. Yeah, we did it again. Mm-hmm. So check him out on Two Woke Boys at Jeff yeah. Zenisek everywhere. Yeah, check me out. Two Woke Boys, T O O Woke Boys on all platforms, and also at my page at Jeff Zenisek on all platforms. That's right. And you can yeah. follow me at Randy Valerio everywhere. Follow the podcast at Ready, Set, Blow Podcast. Rate, review, subscribe, even though we fucked up the comments earlier. Mm-hmm. Do leave a comment. It helps on the algorithm. Where the fuck am I going to be when this comes out? Oh, I'm coming to San Diego. 
Fifth through seventh, guys. La Jolla Comedy Store. Nice. Be down there. Oh, yeah. hairs. Be a good time. And then, uh, as I always say, if you want to see my future dates beyond that, go to jeffdie.com. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this one. We love you guys. Peace.